chasing the police every single day.
please read the verdicts? Yes. <clears throat> we, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of second degree murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, first shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, second shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, third shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, fourth shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, fifth shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, sixth shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, seventh shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, eighth shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, ninth shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, tenth shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, 11th shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, 12th shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, 13th shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, 14th shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, 15th shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, guilty of aggravated battery with a firearm, 16th shot. We, the jury, find the defendant, Jason Van Dyke, not guilty of official misconduct. At this time, uh, Mr. Herbert. Also breaking this morning, just released new video is surfacing in the Laquan McDonald case. Now there are even more questions about the officer and also about the video itself. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joining us live now from the Archer Heights neighborhood with more on the latest layer in the investigation we're learning. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. That video, of course, has been released, but I think what is most revealing is perhaps what it does not show, and that is Laquan McDonald. That's because there is a gap that begins about 20 minutes before he was killed and continues for about an hour after that. Now, in this sequence, which was captured after the 17-year-old ward of the state was shot dead, you can see officers in the Burger King. One is at the computer. Regional manager Jay Jarsain says several police officers were inside the restaurant for at least two hours after McDonald was killed. They were given the password to log onto the computer so that they could review the surveillance footage. Darshane and activists believe the officers purposely deleted about 80 minutes of video that included shots of the parking lot, which McDonald crossed just before Officer Jason Van Dyke shot him to death on Pulaski Road. But last month, police and Cook County State's Attorney Anita Alvarez said the Burger King video surveillance system was not tampered with by any police officer. It doesn't appear that they've been tampered with. What I can tell you about the Burger King video is that forensic testing was done on the Bur Burger King surveillance system to determine if anyone tampered with the evidence, and the testing did not reveal any such evidence. Now, after McDonald was killed, the Independent Police Review Authority stopped by the restaurant to look at the footage. They immediately asked about the gap in the video. Darshane says he was shocked to find out that there was a gap. Much of what remains shows officers inside the restaurant. There's even more footage of the parking lot, however, but not during the crucial moments when McDonald crosses the parking lot just before his death. Both Darshane and his IT specialists have testified before a grand jury. Right now, you can see a lot of ministers have gathered here to express their outrage over what they say is a massive systemic cover-up. We're going to have much more from them later on on CBS 2 News. Reporting live in Archer Heights, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Lionel, right, cer that? Certainly a lot of questions, Mike. Thank you so much. Police use who may want to retaliate against him physically. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch, and I just wanted you to know that uh, I am using this stuff under fair use. And uh, also, uh, remember to like and subscribe this channel. Uh, also, too, uh, 
keep in mind I do not make any money on YouTube uh, this is uh, five hours work a day uh, you know fighting for freedom and uh, I do I you can donate with PayPal and patreon uh, I just want you to think about this if everybody gives uh, to PayPal and Patreon. Patreon is every month. Actually, PayPal you can do every month. I have 12,000 subscribers. If everybody gives, I can uh, quit my regular job and go full-time investigations on Charlotte County and possibly even more and beyond. So just keep that in mind. If everybody helps out, I can go full-time doing this. Thanks.